the technology, we can say it's here, but in actuality, it will not be Stan Myers to bring it in. It will be the, either you or I, the guy down the street, that will come together to bring it in. Otherwise, I do not believe that an alternate energy source, whether water fuel cell or other, would ever come in. It's going to have to be mandated by the people to try to reverse the, the environmental problem, uh, the environmental damage that's actually occurring. But we are in industrial contracting. The technology led us to the development of the ASER technology, where we take the hydrogen atom, put it in a vacuum similar to that of a laser. We now cause uh, and oscillate the hydrogen atom uh, under enormous electrical stress of potential and oscillate it, and potentially the ASER is the most, uh, potentially the most powerful laser weapon uh, that will ever be developed by man at this, at this particular stage. But we use it in reference to uh, heating or being able to use it as a, uh, an element to cut metal or what have you. The internal combustion engine or jet engine could care less whether it's run on, on aviation fuel or water. Uh, electronically, we adjust the burn rate to co-equal that at the temperatures inside the combustion chamber of the jet engine, and we can literally run a uh, jet engine and do it off of water. It's only a matter the technology allows us now to scale it to any size to release uh, the energy. And the technology lends itself to uh, your rocket engines. Any questions? Yes. Thank you. Question. And, and all of our tests is exactly the same. All you're doing is putting electrical stress across the combustible gas atoms. You're oscillating, okay? You're taking it to a very uh, high potential of oscillation. You're releasing its energy, but you are not destroying the atomic structure. Therefore, you have no loss. So essentially what you're saying is this could be a closed loop system where you feed the water back in and you recycle it and you use the sun and photon rebalance it. That's correct. In other words, in, instead of allowing the water mist just to go out the exhaust, you could take a clear plastic tube or a glass tube and take the exhaust, expose it to the sun because the absorption is, is quite instant, and take it back and run it through and use a closed loop system. Yes? Well, we're, we're in about five different major projects right now. One is uh, what we call the heat resonator for Europe. Uh, that's 90% completed. Uh, and uh, what we're doing is what's called a proof of uh, concept um, that we come up with the engineering standard uh, to determine that we have reached the operational parameters or specs of the unit and then we convert it into mass production. The retrofit kit for the water fuel injectors for transportation, uh, that's about 90-95% completed in its manufacturing uh, standard. And uh, so it would be roughly about a year, year and a half to two years, bar that there is no form of opposition. Now, when I started on the technology, I didn't have one white hair in my head, okay? Now, I, I write, I'm writing a book about it. It's titled, It's With the Lord's Purpose, to talk about my faith walk. Uh, I'm really on volume 38, and I'll probably be on volume 52 before, uh, before it's completed that we can get it out the door. So, yes? Yes, I, I do remember you. Okay, uh, I'll answer it in this way. Uh, there are many loopholes in the, both the U.S. patent law and the international patent laws. And under the inter international patent laws, that if you release any of your work out in the public domain, you can receive a statutory blockage in receiving your patents. 
Now, it's one thing to get patents on processes uh, that we're talking about. Now, when you get patents on processes uh, and you reduce it down to, uh, to practice, then it's the way and how that you reduce your technology down to practice. And many times inventors and entrepreneurs uh, violate uh, their design development rights on the system. So in this particular case, many, many uh, governmental and university laboratories have confirmed uh, the viability of the water fuel cell technology. So it has been confirmed in many different testing. Now, where? Uh, where? Where, is the, where are the numbers? That's what I want to see. I want to see a professor or an engineer with numbers of, we don't need to get inside the box. All we need is, this is the input power tested by meter X. This is the Yeah, I, I under. Like yeah. Like what? No yeah, I understand. I understand, but I'm not willing to violate uh, my uh, development rights to reduce it down to practice. Now, uh, I, I, I'll give you one more second on it. Uh, in the in your reducing down to practice, uh, you must assure that you have the design development rights. In this particular case, it was very important that we would maintain all uh, full systems development rights to get the technology into the marketplace. So in this, our scientific world is doing a great deal of testing uh, as to the viability of the technology, allow them to proceed on uh, to make their determination as to converting the water into thermal explosive energy uh, under the conditions that we do. Now, we have a policy in our development that we do not release any uh, system. As we release it out into the public domain, then you can do all the testing you so desire. The industrial contracting we have we respect their confidentiality uh, as they have come into the projects to protect their investments in order to take this technology and translate it into into a finished product. Yes. Have you done the model or models for the conversion? Let's say there are 150 million automobiles in the United States of the water cycle. Let's say they were all running on water tomorrow. That amount of water vapor in the air. Have you done any modeling as to how that might fall? Well, so far, the model testing that we have shows that you'll get a more even distribution uh, of the water mist uh, around the world. Uh, it will not collect in one particular area. Uh, on a cool day, uh, as the, uh, the superheated steam comes out of the exhaust, it would just simply cool down, and the, the roadway would be just a little bit of moisture. But they look at it uh, today as a quite a stabilizing uh, element for distribution of moisture all over the world. Any other question? The questions in the hall. Crossman, go ahead. Well, some of our some of our industrial projects as much as 90% completed. So it takes how long? Uh, the question is how fast industry will convert to finished product. Right now, industry. Uh, with their funding, is, uh, they're moving extremely fast. They're moving faster than I even anticipated. So we're looking that we should have some units out the doors on the principal within the year, within a year and a half, possibly two years, if all goes well and, and no one uh, interferes. Thank you very much.